Hello and welcome to Code Set Questions. Let's show you how these are done. The question states, first of all, three of the four words are given below. These codes are not in the same order as the words and one of the codes is missing. Use these codes to answer the questions. Okay, now what I firstly tend to do is I work out if there's anything in common with the first letters and then the last letter. So this is how I would go through things. So let's have a look at a pattern with the first letters first, then the last letters. And then we can look at the middle letters. Okay, because we've got four words here, but we've only got three codes. And those three codes belong to those three words, but there's a code that's missing. And we need to find out what the code for the word calf is going to be. So first of all, let's see what's in common, first of all. So we can see here that uh, ball starts with B and bolt starts with B. Call starts with C and calf starts with C as well. So that means that eight could be B or it could be C. It's very difficult to, to, to determine just yet. So let's go to the last letters. Let's go to L. L is the same here in ball and L is the same here in call. So let's see, do we have any common numbers, the last numbers that are in common? So we've got five, we've got two and we've got four. So no, we can't really determine if um, L is one of those numbers. Um, there's F and there's T as well. So we're not exactly sure what those numbers could be. Now, we've done the first letters, so we can't figure this out. We've tried the last letters, we can't figure that out either. Now let's go to the middle letters and try and see if we can find uh, anything in common here. So let's have a look at A. So A is in ball. Calf, we've got uh, A as well, second letter. And in call, we also have a second letter, which is A. So we've got A as a second letter in ball, in calf and in call. So let's have a look at the numbers and see what we've got in common. So here, three, and we've got three here as well. That means three must stand for A. So let's just write down A here. So three stands for A, okay? Because you've got three A's and three words as a second letter, that means 8355, five, 3 must be A, and 7354, three, 3 must also be A as well. Let's have a look. Are there any more 3s here that we could put an A in next to? No, we don't. Okay, that's fine. Now let's move on to the third middle letter and see if you've got anything in common. So we've got L here in ball. We've got L here in calf. We've got L here again in bolt. And we've got L here again in car call. So we've got four L's as the third letter. That means number five definitely has to be an L. It has to be an L. There's no doubt about it. So we've got another five here. Let's put another L next to that five there. So now we've kind of built up some of the letters. So can we actually make physical words at the moment? Let's have a look. So let's have a look. So can we make can we make this word here, 8355? What do you think that will be? That could be either ball or it could be call, right? So let's, we'll come back to the first number. Let's have a look at uh, 7354, the number 7354. Can we make a word here with 73 and 54? Can we make a word? Yeah, uh, just about. We've got calf and we've also got ball. So it's getting a little bit tricky here. Let's see 8152, 8152. Can we make a word here with 8152? Yes, we can. That could be pretty much any word there that we're not actually sure of at this moment in time. But let's fill these words in. Let's look at calf first of all. So we know that A stands for three. We know that five stands for L, okay? So five stands for L by just looking at our codes at the top. Can we make a word for calf? Do we know what this word could possibly be? Yes, we can. Because three and five 
are in the middle, that means that this particular number has C and F still missing that we need to actually work out what it's likely to be. So the odd one out here that I can find is the number in the middle. So as we know that 8355 has A, L, L and 7354 has A and L as well. But 8152 is slightly different because five, even though it's L, two, one and eight are very different. So what can they be? So what can they actually be? So we have B, A at the beginning, which is fair enough. We've got A, L, L there, which is fair enough. We've got A, L here. We've got uh, A, L, L here. That means that bolt is the odd one out. So eight must stand for B. One must stand for O and two must stand for T. Okay, so bolt is this, the word that's slightly odd one out because it's got different letters and numbers in there as well. So now as we've got eight, we can fill in the gaps. So eight stands for B. So that means we've got ball now. Have we got any other eights? No, we don't. Let's go for number one. Do we have any more ones? No, we don't. Let's go for T. Do we have T anywhere? No, we, I don't think we do. So that means that AL that's now left over in the middle must be either call or it must be calf. Now it can't be call because four is a different number. So four must be F and seven must be calf. Seven must be C to make calf. This way we've actually uh, joined up the numbers and the letters together. So let's work out what C is then. So C stands for seven and F in this case stands for four. So the answer for this question is going to be seven, three and four. Always stick to this particular rule here, first letters, last letters, and then look for the patterns in the middle letters as well. This is quite time consuming to work out the codes between the letters. So do take your time and do plenty of working out. It's always good to do working out on a piece of paper to get to you close to your answer. Good luck with the rest of the questions.